Mike Scott Chicago, the only way to keep calm is troubled world, type of serene mind. I'm here with, uh, introduce yourself. Armando. It's Armando, he's from Chicago. And uh, yeah, he's one of the, he's, he's, his story and, and, and uh, his story is just so inspirational. Tell, tell us about your story. Well, my name is Armando and I'm born and raised in Chicago. And uh, I got into the lifestyle since a little kid. And he was a he was a Chicago. He was a big he was a big time dope dealer. And turned his life around. And now uh, you was a dope dealer. And tell tell much your story. Well, my story is that uh, I'm here to tell you, young kids, that uh, we we can you can change your life. You know, uh, I grew up in the streets of Chicago at the age of ten. I was already gang banging, and at the age of fourteen, I already had a needle in my arm, and all hell broke loose. My graduations are from the police car to the police station to the county, five time loser to the penitentiary, just because of the lifestyle. You know, uh, once upon a time, I was, like Mike said, uh, I was dealing drugs out there and I was doing good and uh, I got to be to be my best customer. So when did, when did, when, when did you join the games? Uh, at the age of 10, I was already game banging and drinking uh, court 45s out of paper bags and uh, I turned into a, a, a gang banger at the age of 10 years old, I was already in the streets, you know, and I was just doing everything that was wrong in my life. So I destroyed my, 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 my life since a little kid. You know, I got into the lifestyle, dealing drugs, gang banging, you know, I got shot, I got stabbed, beat down a couple of times, left for dead. I OD three times. Wow. You know, this was my life since a little kid. You know, I just started graduating more and more and more. You know, I started from smoking a joint to shooting up heroin, you know, to going to the, to the county, from, to the out of home, to the county, to the penitentiary. I destroyed all my young life, man. So can a monkey sell bananas? Yep, a monkey cannot sell bananas. So you now, you, now you, now you're, you, 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 now you down there, you, you, you going to the penitentiary helping people out. You, you carrying the message and, and trying to help people down t to change their life, sanitize their minds? Yeah, that's, that's what I do. I moved from Chicago to Orlando and over there, you know, not because of COVID-19 right now, we're not, we're not going into the penitentiaries in that. Uh -huh. when, before that, that's all I do is service work. I went to the, to the Grove with the young kid for seven years and a half. Just showing my experience, strengths, and hope, what I went through. Uh, go to the county and do the same thing. Uh, go to the penitentiaries and do the same thing. You know, I'm here to let you guys know that it's not worth it. I did not win. The fight is fixed. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what the disease uh, take us to. Lack us up, you know, in four block neighborhood. Chicago's so big, I didn't want to leave the four blocks because I was thinking I'm going to miss out on something. Mm -hmm. You know? But man, this is so big, man. You don't have to put your life in that, man. It's not worth it. I'm here to tell you guys that I've been there, done that. Thank God that uh, I'm still alive. And the thing that I'm doing today is just helping people, man. So I'm here to tell you guys, get away from the lifestyle, get away from the streets. It is not worth it. It's gonna end up killing you, doing time for the rest of your life, or in a hospital in a wheelchair, Cause see, when you get involved with drugs, it gets worse, worse, and worse, and worse. So you jump, if you jump out the window, you can change your mind. You can't change gravity. So the lifestyle don't change, right? That's right. If if, if the drugs and alcohol don't kill you, guess what? The lifestyle will. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to tell you guys, it's not worth to stay away from the gangs, stay away from the streets, stay away from selling drugs. Cause you know I came to be my best customer. Mm. You know, so right now. Tell me how you tell me about you. He said you was living up in that, that high. You was up on this, living up in the high rise and. Yep, yep. I was living in one of them high rise in uh, in downtown Chicago because I got to be a big dope dealer mm -hmm. and I was living the dream. But guess what? Fast money. Yeah. It, it goes fast too. You know, fast money comes to me and it goes fast. Mm -hmm. So anyway, from from living in a uh, high rise in downtown Chicago, I remember sleeping right in front of the yard. Mm -hmm. You know, because, you know, I was going just down the hill, man, because mm. I got to be the, my best customer. And from there, I started sleeping in the building, buildings, 20, drinking 2020 20, Mad Dog. I turned into a bum. So tell, tell, tell them about, you remember you told, you told me yesterday that you said that uh, when you got beat down the streets, you didn't even cry. But now you was telling me how you cry when you watch a commercial. Yeah, well, you know, uh, 
the, the, the way I raised myself out there in the streets, man, mm. I, my heart was like a like a rock, man. Yeah. You know, all I did was hurt people. Mm -hmm. And and hurt people, since I was hurt, I started hurting everybody around. And as a, as a gangbanger, you know, all we do is we gangbang. Mm -hmm. You know, we kill each other, we hope, we, 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 we hurt each other. But really, uh, what I'm doing today, since I changed my life, you know, um, to the grace of God, today I see a commercial, man. And uh, I remember I got jumped like for 15 guys. They took my gang sweater and I was in the hospital and not even one tear came out. Mm. But the last 15 years since I changed my life, yeah. you know, I see a commercial, man, uh, of a, a little dog, uh, 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 a little puppy dying or something, or these commercials about, you know, uh, Africa and all, people starving of food. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I start crying like a little baby because I got feelings today, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 this program changed my life. So how many total? So, how many years total did you do in the penitentiary? Well, I told I did like I think like uh, twelve years, ten to twelve years. You know, mm -hmm. I just waste all that time. Mm -hmm. You know, and I waste all that time in the street. You know, uh, I'm going back to school, man. I'm sixty-one years old. I'm going back to school now. Oh, okay. I got a beautiful life. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a nice place. You know, God been blessing me. You know, so. And last, and last year I saw you, you came down and, and you, was, you was going to a funeral. Somebody got killed in a lifestyle. Yep. And this good, year, and this, this year somebody else died. Yep. A good friend of mine uh, died last year because of gang banging. And this is a little, what, what, this was like six months ago I came. Yeah. The same year. Mm -hmm. And I came back again because one of my best friends, his, wow. done, his son died. Wow. It's him right here. God. He died from that uh, fentanyl. What? Yep, that, that whatever they so we so we we right here talking about coronavirus and we got and alcohol kills three point two million people worldwide. The marijuana is killing people. Uh, a couple of two months ago, they had fentanyl and marijuana that killed. And I don't care what the, they legalized. So this young man here died from fentanyl. So 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 drugs are killing people. We don't talk about that on the news. Yeah, you know what it is right now. What we're talking about this, somebody's dying from this yeah. disease, alcohol and drugs. Man. Mm -hmm. It's crazy out there. You don't have to kill yourself. You know, wow. You can have how, 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 was that, how old was that young man? The 40 years old. 40 years old. Left three beautiful kids. Wow. Three beautiful kids out there. You know, mm -hmm. I was in the funeral yesterday. I came from Orlando to, yeah. to uh, help give his father some support because yeah. we grew up together. Yeah. They're good people, but guess what? Good people die. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're using drugs, that's what's, gonna, that's what's waiting for you. The penitentiary, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Death, mm -hmm. right? Jails and institutions and death. Yeah. That's all that's waiting for you, buddy. So stay away from the game. Go to school. Have a, a wonderful life. You can do it. And we stay away from all this crap that's going on in this crazy world today. My name is Armando. I'm going to keep coming back. Thank you. Thank you, Armando.